Hey guys, welcome back. I am uh, working on a little project. I am going to build some climbing sticks out of some, some treated wood. Um, trying to figure out the cheapest, easiest way to get up into a tree uh, where it's, you know, I don't have to pack it in real far or anything. I can, I can pretty much drive up to it and then walk it in. So it doesn't need to be super light. I'm going to show you what I'm doing, show you how I'm doing it, and uh, hopefully it'll work. We'll show you how it looks when it's all said and done. All right guys, I'm here at Lowe's, and uh, we're looking for treated wood. We do not want just regular wood because this is going to be outdoors, so we want this treated, and hopefully it'll last a little bit longer. So we're going to look for some 2x4x10. Uh, by by we'll get four pieces, and that should should take care of us. All right, here's the treated wood. About five bucks a piece, not bad. Should need four of those, so that gets us at about 20 bucks. The screws are going to be about 10 bucks, so we're going to be all in about 30 bucks. Okay, so the plan is to use this treated wood here. Uh, we're gonna do two 10-foot sticks. I don't know if it'll actually end up being that or not, but that's the thought at this point. So we're gonna cut 24-inch uh, platforms and we're gonna screw them on. They'll look like this, I've already started. Uh, and then we'll attach it into the tree. So I'll show you what that looks like and I'll show you how I'm doing it. So for me, I measured, and it's about 16 inches uh, is, a, is a good distance for me to step. So I'm measuring 16 inches, and I'm marking, and that's where I'm putting the top. And then I measure 16 inches from the top on the next one. It seems to be working. I tested it out. It seems to work pretty good. It's plenty of room. It's, it's, a lot of ladders are 12 inches, but I don't, uh, that, I'd have so many steps. I could probably push it to 20 inches, but 16 seemed seemed the right amount. All right, so here's how I'm trying to kind of get them centered. It's 24 inches long, so I find the center point that's here at 12, and then I go back an inch and three quarters on either side. So that takes me to 13 and three quarters and 10 and a quarter. And that gives me the width of the two by four here so that I get a nice center, because the two by four is really not Two inches by four inches it's actually one and a half by three and a half so i'm not really sure why they call them two by four but i guess it's just easier when they round up so that's how i'm marking it all right so currently i'm putting in three screws uh, it's got this star bit these are uh, uh three inch long like decking screws and i'm starting right in the middle that's my middle one just to get it going And I'm doing a cross pattern for now. I may end up having to come in and do more, but when I tested it, it seemed to be pretty sturdy. So we'll see. Uh, I may end up, I may end up putting five in each one, but for now, three is working because I'm just trying to get, trying to get it. And this obviously is a ratcheting drill, it makes it just a little bit easier to, or hammer drill to get in. So three across, 16 inches apart. So I center it on 12. And I go an inch and three quarters on either side, so that kind of gives me a good, a good view of, of where this needs to be as far as keeping it relatively, um, uh, relatively level. So that's how I'm attaching these on for now. And again, like I said, I may end up doing here too, but at this point, just three is good. I guess the last, that's tip number, I don't know, 76. Alright guys, I made it back with the two ladders. Now I have no idea how I'm going to get them up in there. 
Remember from the last video of the creek bed? Right in there is where those deer came through. They travel this rocky creek bed right here. And they were right there. That's where I filmed them, right in that area. So hopefully I can catch one coming down through here. Maybe during the rut catch a buck. And once I'm up there, you'll see I can look down all over the field or the, the brush back in there as well. So this is where putting this up. You can see we got, got this one leaned up against it. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get them in there. All right, so I got one up. I have no idea how I'm gonna get the other one up. Probably I'm not gonna be able to get the other one up. Because I think that would take it way up there and I don't think I need to be way up there. I think anywhere in there is probably fine. Um, but I lifted it up, I put one screw in just to hold it. Right there, that's what actually held it. And then I have two straps and uh, it's a little, I don't know if you can see that, it's a little wobbly, but it's not going anywhere. All right guys, I just wanted to show you real quick how these work. You can see, uh, you go right up the tree, there's no problems, it's very safe, it's not wobbly. I'm going to be able to get into my stand. I actually ended up taking off the top part of my stand down because it I mixed and matched. So anyways, but you can see I was able to use it. It's no problem at all. I'm able to get up and down. Um, I did end up getting frustrated and, and, and making a ladder, which is what you'll see here in just a second. But overall, they worked very well. All right, so you can probably see here that this actually was the second of the two 10-foot climbing stands that I built. Um, there was no way I was getting in the tree. So I actually just brought it back to the garage and uh, I bought two 16 foot uh, uh, 2x4s of the treated wood and uh, you can see I'm pulling off all the screws and then putting them into the side. So I took it, I basically converted this from a, 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 a climbing stand to a ladder. Um, it ended up working actually really well. I'll show you here in just a second. Okay, so I got frustrated with my climbing sticks, although they subsequently have turned out to work pretty well. But I got crazy and ended up building a 16 foot ladder. That's what, uh, that's what you guys saw in the second half of that video. So, um, same spacing, 16 inches apart, 24 inches wide, 16 feet long. So it actually works really well. It's, it's heavy, but it's not terrible. And it goes up very easy. So it actually works really well, but it turns out I don't need it because the stand that I'm using, it doesn't really need to be that high. So those ended up working fine. But now I've got it. But I have no way to get it to the farm. Because it's 16 feet long. That's just one more thing i got to figure out. Alright, you can see here I'm, I'm putting the ladder up in the tree. It goes up really easy. I mean, it's a little bit heavy for a ladder, obviously, because it's all wood. But I think that actually helps it uh, stay grounded and not kick out on you on the bottom. So it goes up very easily. Works great. All right, guys, well, that's going to just about wrap it up for uh, episode three of The Hapless Hunter. I will tell you, this episode fought me, man. Um, I had it just about done several days ago and went to put the finishing touches on it. And the whole thing got erased, uh, so I had to completely start over. So it was crazy. I don't, you know, I don't know. I tried to find it for a couple days and wasn't able to find it. So I had to just completely redo it. But um, hey, uh, it is finally done now. Um, hey, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Hey, next, uh, next week, uh, the episode's going to be really cool. Uh, we got a semi-life hunt. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do um, box fan jerky. I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but it's, uh, it's a pretty cool way to do beef jerky. Um, totally different way than what you've probably typically seen. Uh, really easy, and it comes out really good. And uh, there may be a couple other surprises. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those, and I'll be sure to answer those or answer your questions. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.